Hello everyone, welcome again to I want to learn the guitar at blogspot.com Right, uh, today our lesson is about music alphabet, numbers, and notes oh, There you go We'll start off by learning the music alphabet which is A, B, C, D, E, F, G You will be learning those seven letters uh, it can represent uh, the letters can represent a chord or um, the root note or key uh, like most musicians would say when they're having a jam what key are we going to play this song so let's say for example key of G key of D and other keys key of A right or um, when you're doing um, improvisation or solo, you you always go goes back to your root note. For example, you're playing in the key of A, so your root note would be A. So yeah, you jam and then you you can finish your ad lib or your solo on on your root note, which is A. Right. We'll discuss more about that in in the future, but for now you need to remember that there there are seven letters that you need to know when you're talking about music alphabet next to it is the numbers right the numbers can represent um, a variation of a chord so we say we said earlier that the letters can be your chords so a and then you can put a5 g5 that's a variation of a chord because there will be a proper chord or a major chord which is A then you put A5, um, G6, B7, C9 Th those numbers they, they become a, a, a variation of a certain chord when you apply numbers to it uh, also the numbers can be uh, if, if you're reading tablature, we'll talk with uh, about uh, tablature in another lesson. But yeah, uh, in the tablature, you will see numbers there that will represent the fret, the number of the fret. So that's another thing that you, you, you will need to be learning about the guitar. And then the other thing that they do is the Roman numbers. So it can represent a chord so let's say you're on key of A so your 1 would be your A and this would be B C and then your 4 would be your D 5 E and F G so the 7 letters become these um, Roman numbers the uppercase or the capital letters would be your major chords the small letters or the lowercase would be your minor chord we'll discuss more of that in the future so for example you're learning this sequence 1 as A you go to 4 which is D and 5 would be E so that's your chords pattern or chord sequence it can change if they say we're on a the key of C so your one will be C this will be F this will be G and then the other pattern or sequence that is famous will be this one let's say for example you're in the key of G that's your one what's next to G A and because it's small letters this is your A minor goes to D and back to G if this is gonna be your um, D minor this one will be your G this one will be your C uh, don't confuse yourself for now but uh, as I've said these Roman numbers can represent your chords we'll, we'll talk more about that one okay last but not the least the notes so you got here a whole note rest 
how many bits and so on and so forth so you got whole note half note quarter note eighth note and sixteenth note right a little bit of exercise we'll use it by clapping our hands so uh, whole note would be only on one then you'll be counting four so one two three four one two three four because it says there on the paper four beats it's one four beats so your whole, whole note will be one in four beats so one two three four one two three four you're holding your guitar even without a chord you can try and just strum down stroke and then you count one two three four but strum it on the one so one two three four and one two three four one two three four the same with your clapping of your hands if you don't have your guitar yet so just clap your hand one two three four one two three four that's your whole note half note is half of that whole note so you'll be clapping two times now it will be on one and the three so one two three four one two three four same when you're strumming your guitar it will be one two three four one two three four one two three four and then the quarter note will be each beat you'll be doing it so it will be one two three four one two three four let's put a bit of chords now so one two three four one two three four one two three four so that's your quarter note your eighth note would be half of your quarter note. So you just put the word and. So it will be one and two and three and four and. Same when you're strumming. Now with, when you're strumming, it would be best to do a down and up stroke so that you can catch up with your counting. So it's gonna be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay last would be your 16th note which is half of your eighth note so you'll have four uh, in each beat so it's like one two three four one two three four or one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four so or the other way of counting it is one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a now it will be a lot faster so it's gonna be like that's that's the counting of your 16th note if 8th note is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 16th would be 1 okay we'll, we'll learn more about that one I hope that you learned something uh, on today's lesson and if it's your first time to watch this video don't forget to subscribe and also visit our blog which is I want uh, I want to learn the guitar that blogspot that that com or that code that you gain um, I'll, I'll be putting it on the description as well the link thank you very much and see you later